hello guys you're welcome once again to my channel and in the last video we basically looked at our helper functions which um, one of them was our custom hook function so in this video uh, we are going to be looking at our routes so basically we're going to be looking at the routes of this application i'd say the route aspect of this application is going to kind of like be the foundation towards the registration and login okay so without much talking let's get into it uh, here we are and um, the first thing I'd like to do is I'm going to go into our source folder and within our source folder I'm going to create a file here so I'm going to create a file here and I'm going to call this file route.js alright so within our route.js I'm going to write a functional based component here yep route and within our route I'm going to import our switch route and the last is going to be the redirect and all these are going to come from our React Router DOM. Yep, React Router DOM. And now having successfully imported those components, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of this. And in here, I'm going to have a switch. Um, the uh, function of the switch is to help us um, to be able to change between one view and another view. So if I clicked on Home, it will help me to be able to navigate from Home to About, from About to Contact. All right, so within our switch, we are going to then write all our routes. So what I'll, I'll um, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to write a route here, and for this route, I like this route to be the exact path. So basically, I'm saying I want this route to be the absolute exact path. So and this is going to be forward slash. So anytime you call forward slash, uh, if I don't put this exact for this particular route, what is going to happen is anytime I call forward slash any route, it's going to display this route and then display that order. Um, it's going to display the, the content of this route and it's also going to display the content of the other uh, components route. So that's why we need to add this exact. So for this, uh, I'm going to use the render. And for the render, I'm going to pass this props basically. And uh, for this route, anytime we call the index route, I'd like to redirect the user to another or to a route, uh, which we are going to create, uh, not, we're going to create quickly. So this is going to go to a route and our route is going to be home. Okay, so it's going to be home and here, supposed to be bracket not this and we'll need to close this guy here okay so now we are going to create our home component and before we create our home component we are going to do a little bit of restructuring or basically just do some structures here so what i want to do right now is within our source folder i'm going to create three different folders in here the first folder is going to be our layout all right uh, the second folder is going to be our pages and then the third folder within our source is going to be our views. So we have our layout, our pages, and then our views. So we're going to start off with our layout. And within our layout, we are going to have an admin, a layout for admin. And we're also going to have a new folder here. And that is also going to be a layout for user. And I hit this when this happens. All right, let me use the terminal then. So we we'll have to cd into YouTube multi auth and uh, we'll have to cd into source, right? cd into layout and make directory of user. All right, so we have admin and we have user. And for pages, we are also going to do the same in here, admin, and uh, I'm going to get back to our terminal and I'm going to create another folder within pages. So I'm gonna go backwards. Oh my goodness, the command is not found. Oh, sorry guys, I'm not on Windows. So we're gonna do, and that takes us to the previous folder. I always kind of mix mix up between Windows and Mac. If I was in the Windows and then I did CD dash dash, so it's gonna take me back to the previous folder. Okay, so uh, then we will have to move into the pages folder, the pages folder, and our pages folder, we are going to create user. Uh, there's no user of make directory of user. Okay, so now we have admin and we have user within our pages. And um, within our views, we are also going to do the same thing too. So I'm going to have admin here, and I'm just going to come in here and then go into views. And within our views, I'm going to make a directory here. And I'm going to call this directory user. 
All right, so within our views, we have admin and then we have users. Uh, but one more folder is going to go into our views and that is going to be home. So this home is going to be responsible for the views that will be working in here for the home, home route. All right, so now that we have successfully defined this, uh, what I want to do next is um, within our pages, all right, I'm going to create a new file here and I'm going to call this home.js and within our views inside of our home, I'm going to create a file here. I'm going to call this home view .js. and our home view .js is going to be a functional component. Uh, I'll just, just a bold tag and say this is the home, home page and I'm going to save this and uh, within our home in here, I'm going to call this and uh, let's see if I call it home view. Yes. And now I'm going to save this. And if I head back to my browser and I refreshed this guy, why is it not working? Let's see forward slash home. Okay, 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 okay. Uh, we are supposed to add our routes to our application. So basically into our app.js. So in our app.js, I'm going to import browser router. So browser router is going to wrap around our application. And this is going to come from React router DOM and I'm also going to import our routes and this is going to come from routes uh, right route mm -hmm. our routes should be within our root folder uh, let me see if we did this correctly our route is not within our root folder so let's just get this out of here not copy sorry let's cut this and we're going to place this within our source folder paste that in here yes and now we get back to our app.js and our routes so we're also going to get rid of this logo here and um we're going to get rid of everything in here all right and what i'm going to do now is i'm going to wrap this around the browser router and within our browser router, I'm then going to call routes and uh, get rid of this other forward slash. And now I save this and head back to our browser and very fresh that. Oh, that is rendering nothing because we need to wrap this around the div and we need our app class. So I'm going to wrap this around the div and, and let's give this a class name of app. And now I save this and I head back to my browser and I refresh. All right, so, uh, but it's not showing us any text. So why is that happening? Within our home, we are importing our home view. And we, okay, that's because in our routes, the JS would need to import a home component, import home from, uh, not that way, right? So let's go into our pages. And in our pages, we are going to have home here. And now with us having um, imported home, we can now set our routes here. And our route is going to call our home path. And the component is basically going to be our home component. And uh, now I just save that in here. Refresh that and yep, you have this is the home page. Okay, so um, we have set the home route. We are going to set other routes here too. So, and this route is going to be responsible for login, user login. So we're going to go slash user, slash login. And for the components, which we have not yet created, I'm going to call this user login. And uh, we're also going to do the same thing too for admin login, admin register. So I'm going to have not comma, like component, not comma component or something. So here we're going to have home component user login. We're going to have admin login. Uh, we're also going to have user register and admin register. User register. So this is going to be user login, admin login, user register, and uh, admin register too. So we're going to have slash admin forward slash register all right so we have registered this route uh, but we have not defined this component so we are definitely going to run into a couple of problems 
So I'm going to call this admin register. And uh, we're also going to define a couple of more routes. So having defined this route, what we can now do is we are going to go into our pages. So I'm just going to skip the views and I'm just going to go straight into our pages. And for our pages within our user, we're going to create a user. Oh no, not yet. And what we're going to do instead is we're going to create auth here. Oh boy, I meant the folder, not the file. Let's delete this. And um, instead of... Um, getting things a bit messed up. I like things to be a bit organized. So in here, we are going to create a folder called auth. And uh, as well as for admin here, we're also going to have a folder here called auth. So for our user, within our auth folder, we're going to have login.js and uh, we're also going to have register.js. And for admin, we're also going to have login.js and we are also going to have register. So for our user login.js, we are going to define our components here. And so I'm going to create a new functional based component in here. And uh, this is going to be called user. Sorry. It's going to be called user login, which of course is what we have here as user login. So user login. And for now, we're just going to have a bold tag that says this is the user login page, user login page save that and uh, for register we are so for register we're going to have the same thing to here but right here we're going to change this to user let's see what we called it user okay user register so this is going to be user register and i'm going to have a bold tag here that says welcome to register welcome to user register page user register page i'm going to save that and for our admin Within our login page, I'm going to just I'm going to just copy you here, uh, paste that in here, change this to admin. Uh, this is the admin login page. Save that for register. I'm going to copy what we have in here, paste that in here. Welcome to admin register page. And uh, right now, I can not yet. I'm going to import uh, user login from pages user of login and i'm also going to import user register and this is going to come from pages uh, user of register and then i'm going to import admin login and this is going to come from pages user of uh, not user sorry pages uh, pages admin and of and login and then we are also going to import admin register from we have pages admin auth register so we have user login admin login user register admin register we save this and uh, let's just get over here and if i refresh this we are at home now let's see if i user forward slash login and this is the user login page uh user forward slash register welcome to user register page uh let's see admin forward slash login and this is the admin login page admin forward slash register and this welcome to admin register page all right so that is going to be this for um, setting our basic routes in the next video we're going to be looking at um, protecting certain routes and setting up our guard for this application thank you